This is Talbot Davis. He's working hard on his sermon for the first week of old school. Look at him go. Now he is thinking about how he can demonstrate the vastness of God's creation. Aha! He's got it. After some calculations, Talbot has the perfect sermon illustration. He's going to take us on a scale model journey from our sun to the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Talbot's office will represent the sun. On this journey, each foot traveled will represent 200,000 miles. Talbot figures that the next star is pretty far away, so we'll need to head to the airport to catch a plane. Talbot is heading for his car, which is about 400 feet from his office. To scale, that is about how far the Earth is from the sun. In case you're wondering, that's 92,960,000 miles. After some more quick calculations, Talbot is ready to head for the airport. Don't forget to buckle up and check those mirrors, Talbot. Wait just a minute! Where in the world does he think he's going? Come on, people. Did you really think? Seriously? He's a pastor, for goodness sakes! Talbot heads inside because he'll need to have a good meal before he gets on the plane. Fats Cafe is about 2,500 feet from Talbot's office. We'll call this stop Jupiter. We've now traveled about 483,800,000 miles from the sun. Now that Talbot is nice and full, he's ready to make his way to the airport. After some more calculations, he's got a good feeling about his trip. Now he makes his way north towards the airport. Uh-oh! Looks like somebody needs a potty break. I guess he shouldn't have drunk five glasses of iced tea with his lunch. Well, since we're here, let's see how far we've come. We're now about 2.5 miles from Talbot's office. This is Neptune. Neptune is 2,798,000,000 miles from the sun. It is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. Talbot is feeling much better now. Talbot needs to hurry or he'll miss his plane. He does some more calculations. Uh-oh. What's wrong? His good feeling has disappeared. He's decided to head back to his office and call the whole thing off. Why is he giving up? Well, after Talbot did the math, he figured he would have to fly to Dallas, Texas. That's pretty far. The problem is that he couldn't fly directly to Dallas. He would have to fly from Charlotte to Africa, from Africa to China, from China to Hawaii, from Hawaii to California. Then he could finally catch his last flight to Dallas. You see, Proxima Centauri is 25 trillion miles from our sun. Using our scale of 1 to 200,000, Talbot would have to fly 23,000 miles around the Earth. That is about one full trip around our planet. That's a long way. A little too far for a good illustration. Maybe next time, Talbot.